All right. Uh, so in the last episode, we discovered that there are space pirates on Aether, and I guess we have to do something about it. I don't know. It's Samus. She probably does have to do something about it. Anyways, I forget if this is where we go now, or if we just keep heading up the other room. We will find out because I'm gonna roll into this thing. This might not be the right way. Yeah, we've gone the wrong way. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> We don't need to come here yet, but I believe this guy's a second. No, he's just a dead guy. <laughs> I think if you roll off here, you can get this missile expansion. So, you know, that's important to missile expansion. So basically, uh, if you want to get early and out of sequence, you come into this room. Uh, let me use the map so I can label these rooms. Uh, basically, you're going to want to come in from mining station A, and you're going to want to hang a right near that T. See the T? So you're going to come in and you're gonna beat up the space rise and hang a right and come into portal access. Uh, just do the thing with the connect orb cannons, and on the way back, just roll yourself off the edge for a missile expansion. Oh. These are just more war I don't know why I thought they were shriek bats. I think there are no more shriek bats ever after the after the first game. I think that was the only one with shriek bats. There's another translate door. We can't translate that. Uh, anyways there's some sand. You can walk in the sand and get sand all over your visor. I think this came out the same year as a Prince of Persia. Ah, uh, this thing. Brizgy. Uh, basically... This is this game's version of the... Ah, uh, the annoying ones. <laughs> Uh, you, you remember those ice guys from the first game and the guys that had the shells on? I can't remember the name. It sounds similar, like the Brisky, but it's not Brisky. It's something else. But they were in the first and uh, the first game. Uh, there was the one in Fendrana and the one in Magmore. You know what I'm talking about. Because you have to only kill them with missiles. So yeah, you basically have to do the same for these guys. Anyways, you want know, to blow that up. It'd be cool if I got that brisky like, in the explosion. But hanging over here, this is the door we want to go through. And here's one of these weird blue trees that when you're walking through. It makes everything look so funny. I believe like there's something you can read about those trees. Oh, remember that conversation we had about shriek bats? <laughs> They're in this room, so... But they fly differently in this game. Uh, in the first game where they did, like, that spite, that thing where they, like, twist around, these ones do, like, sort of a wave motion. So, yeah, the, the first ones are easier to avoid. Alright, so... Here we are in... The Agon Temple. That wasn't so bad. We already made it. But... Once we set into this area... That wall is going to go up, and it's going to be time for a boss fight. This is the big sand digger. Now it's probably alpha. Yeah, alpha sand digger. Large tunneling dude. So you just got to find him like a regular sand digger, but upon scanning him, they already don't like us and have sent this out to kill us. We did absolutely like no damage to it, but he looks really cool after he gets darkified. And 
This is the bomb guardian. Look what he's dropping. That's a familiar thing. Why would he have that? Oh yeah, because they stole all our crap in the beginning of the game. And so we have to fight this guardian to get it back. But he's dropping our more our precious morph ball bombs. He's attacking us with our own weapon. The nerve. Uh, I forget what we do. I think we have to wait for him to attack and then we go and hit the back. I actually don't remember. No, that no, we hit the back enough times to stun him. And then we hit him in the face. Okay. It all works better when you remember actually how to play the game. So we gotta stun him, and then hit him! Oh god. Oh god. Yeah. Apparently he... When he became the guardian of our weapon, he got like the better version, and we got like the short end of the stick version, and I seem to not be able to hit him anymore. Again, Sam is not the fastest moving game character ever. I mean, come on. She moves slower than Link, and he doesn't even have a jump. Oh, wait. Yeah, he does now. He does have an action button. And he's really close to finishing this guy off, and it only took me a whole energy tank. Actually, I think I was missing some from, like, the bats and stuff. And, of course, the pirates, so... Don't give him too much credit for all the health damage he's done. But we shot his head off, and he explodes. He exploded. And we can regain some health, and we get another purple credit for defeating the bomb guardian. And, to top that all off, we get the bombs back. We have re we have re re retrieved our bombs. So we'll vault into the air and turn into a ball. Morph ball bomb acquired. <laughs> That's pretty good. I gotta admit that was a great song. Alright. I don't know if there's any save stations nearby for me to end the game. For me to end my recording, but... Uh, basically, now that we have defeated him, we need to find a way out of this pit. I think you just gotta scan the door. Oh yeah, you do this. You blow up the door! <laughs> It's funny though, like, Samus can blow it up, but like, uh, the, ga the Guardian himself couldn't just like, chuck a bomb near it and would blow it up and just walk outside and stand up here and just rain fire down on him. Nah, nah, that doesn't happen in video games. So we can't go through here, there's some kind of weird thing blocking the door, but you can hurt yourself with it. Um, if you've ever wanted to kill yourself in a Metroid game, yeah, without just allowing yourself to be hit. That's how you do it. <laughs> That's the way we came in. But it is blocked off. It is locked. We're going to soon find that everything in this room is locked except the one door. So we should just head to that door and stop messing around. Uh, that We can't go through that one either. We need another beam for that. Completely forgot about the massive amount of beams that this game has. But we got to head up here to the only other unlocked door. Throw herself in there and lay a bomb, and the room is literally going to turn around. It's a secret. Shh. <laughs> Looks like we just just turned around in a circle, doesn't it? The way they did that camera angle. It's like, oh, if I just go out here, I'm just going to end up back to where I came from. But through the power of magic, we came out here. And here's a. Uh, Here's a dead guy. That's like a podium. Uh, this is the 
you want that's where you dispense the energy and uh, there's gonna be a kind of a long cutscene after this so we're gonna stop this here so I'll see you guys for the next one oh I get to do my voice again next episode